The short program is complete here at the GEICO 2019 U.S. Figure Skating Championships. And it was a night to remember, especially for Brady Tunnell. Look at that, in the lead by nearly three points, a 76.6 over maybe what was the moment of the night. Alyssa, Alyssa Liu, 13 years young, 73.89. Mariah Bell in third. Amber Glenn also having the skate of her life. And then you can see some other great performances, including from Emmy Ma, Megan Wessenberg, and Star Andrews will want to climb the rankings in the free skate. It's the Bridgestone Ice Desk. We're here to break everything down from this evening's women's short program. Hey, everyone. Nick McCarvel here alongside a cast of characters that you're going to recognize. Mariah Nagasu, Brooke Castile, and Michael Weiss. Welcome back from ringside. Glad you felt like that we were worthy to join once again here on ISS. Nick, you are always worthy. <laughs> Thank you. I, I was hoping you were going to That's the validation say. you need. Michael I really Weiss. needed that tonight <laughs> at the end of the day. Uh, you are all worthy out there as well. Go to Facebook or YouTube. Leave us a comment. We're going to check on those comments uh, this evening. So let us know. Do you have questions for one of these panelists? I'll relay the question to them. We're breaking down the ladies' short program. And I have to ask first to Mariah Nagasu, what is your big takeaway from that short? Mm. I feel really validated um, that I called all the shots. I I called it to the T. I told I told everyone that Brady was going to come out and deliver, and she looked really strong. Nailed that triple let's triple toe. I was expecting a loop, but you know what? She still got the job done, and she's really grown from last season. Really learned to perform, and I like this this um you know kind of villainous Brady Tunnell as opposed to the princess we got last year yeah. and I really enjoyed it and then Alyssa Lou going down for that triple axle way to go it's in the books above me get that girl um <laughs> creating history yes yeah very very cool we're going to talk about everything tonight obviously big night for Brady Tunnell Marine mentions Michael Weiss, that triple axel from Alessa Liu, just the third U.S. woman to do it at national. She joins Tanya Harding and Kimmy Meisner, but that was a huge moment for a 13-year-old. Well, it was awesome. I mean, she's the youngest person ever to do a triple axel, youngest lady to land a triple axel anywhere internationally. And so to watch her warm that up, not only in those six-minute warm-up, you know when everybody's warming up, yeah, you do your jumps and your triple axels in the warm-up, beautiful one. Right before she skated, when she was going out, and we're usually stretching, doing that, she did another triple axel. Did you see that? <laughs> right before they announced her name, she did a triple axel. Yeah. Amazing. And then she goes out in the performance and lands it again. I mean, it's the jump is that easy for her right now, which it, it just it just bodes great for ladies figure skating now. You see these Russians that are doing quadruple combinations. Now the U.S. has a skater that can do a triple axel very consistently, working on quads, tried quad lutzes mm -hmm. earlier I've seen in the her, year. her land yeah. a cheated quad lutz. Yeah. yeah. So Crazy. the yeah. ladies, you know, could potentially now compete technically with some of the other ladies uh, in the world. I mean, you always did it with your triple axel. Now we have somebody who's 13 years old who has, you know, a very long, bright future of competing mm. technically against the best female skaters in the world. Well, we're going to look at those technical scores later on, but let's go ahead and look first at what Brady Tunnell was able to do tonight. Her short program, it's called Rebirth, and Mariah actually pointed out, Brooke Castile, this from start to finish was really great skating from Brady Tunnell tonight. Yeah, and I agree with Mariah. I love this, like, new dark Brady. I think it really works for her. She's an intense skater, and... Packaging her that way is really smart and switching that combination yeah. from the loop to the toe was really smart because if you're a little bit off on the Lutz, you can still pull out that toe, whereas the loop you have to be perfect on the Lutz and it's nice to have that cushion. I'm really impressed with her. I, I thought, you know, last year she was a consistent princess and this year she is like a fierce competitor. It's really cool to see, she's talked a lot, Mariah, about sort of this whole change in herself, but it's really cool to see her do it at Nationals a year after she sort of broke through on the scene. Yeah, um, Brady and I geek out about Sarah J Moss books, and you know, there's a really strong female character in the books that we like to read, and so I think she's portraying that and channeling that inner, inner warrior, and so I really enjoyed this performance tonight. Michael, what we were doing in the pre-show is talking about the pressure of coming back as defending champ. And last year, what we talked a lot about with Brady is she just seems to ignore all of it. I talked to her after the short program, and she said, I do try to ignore all of it. But just to be able to do that, to block it out, it's not easy. Well, she seems to have one of those personalities that's really kind of unflappable. I mean, it started, you know, not this year, but last year at Skate America when, you know, 
she's virtually unknown. She comes out and wins the bronze medal at Skate America, just skating two clean, short, and long programs, mm. hitting everything all week. She comes to the national championships, wins the national championships in the same fashion, and now she comes back trying more difficult elements. She has the triple lutz, triple loop in her arsenal. Most likely she's going to be trying it in the free skate, if I had to guess. And she's she's just comes back this year with more passion and basically, you know, it's you're defending national champion now yeah. and you have somebody coming up in Alyssa Liu who's like that little, you know, firecracker, the you know, the young as you reminded me Alyssa reminded me so much of like a young Michelle Kwan when she was twelve, or like a Sasha Cohen when she first came on, on the scene in the national championships. And and now to be competing against uh, you know, Brady Tunnell. Now Brady Tunnell is the seasoned veteran at one time national <laughs> champion. But she <laughs> skated like that tonight. Brady the, came out and skated like that. Cool, confident, collective, well-performed, yeah. well-delivered. Yeah, really, really cool to see tonight. Well, let's go ahead and check out Alyssa Liu, 13 years old. It's her senior debut. She can't compete internationally at Worlds in, it, for the next couple seasons. But there was, this was a great skate. And Mike's pointing out, reminiscent maybe of Michelle Kwan. But for you, Brooke, this triple axle, first off, we've got to just check this out because she came in. And she absolutely rocked this triple axel. Boom. I just had to be silent while she did <laughs> yeah. it so we could appreciate it. Um, like Mike said, it's easy. She makes it look easy, and it looks – it's not. And, 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 and she – every everyone in practice, she she did. No problem. Triple axel, triple axel, triple axel down the rink. It was just nothing. And I have to point out that she did her triple-triple as one of the last Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm. She did. A really great point getter, and you get that extra bonus on that triple-triple, and that's – that's she did get to... called under on her triple toe on the combination. Hmm. But saving that for the towards the end of the program, Mike, no, it just shows how athletic yeah. she is. It shows that, and also it shows smart program layout that she and Laura Lepetsky looked at this program and said, "Can you do a triple triple towards the very end?" And she's like, "Yeah, no problem, coach. Yeah. I can do yeah. it." And at the, when she got her score, she was like, "Oh yeah, that's, that's pretty good." <laughs> and, and you, you just know, don't know when you're at the beginning of. The group, you don't know where you're gonna fall. You don't know if you did a good job, and so kind of have to take it and say, "All right, pretty good. <laughs> I just did a triple axel." Well, I mean, I, good. we we talked about even you know comparisons to to you know champions like Michelle Kwan and Sasha Cohen and 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 even Tara Lipinski when they came out on on the stage. But she has a technical ability to her that, that that's great. But when we talk about the maturity of these ladies and continuing to get better and continue to grow, we talk about them ba becoming a more balanced skater. Now, she looks like, anytime you see a skater going around there where their head's like barely above the boards, yeah. you're like, all right, this kid's got potential because she's going to continue to grow and get better and better. And I see that in her skating, she is obviously very focused on detail mm -hmm. with her jumps. Then you once you get those jumps and those elements and that foundation, you start working in the artistry and the performance level and all those things that really create a true champion in figure skating. And right now, she just created a great foundation to build on and what a great start. I mean, I, I'm still blown away by that warm-up triple axel. I, I've never <laughs> seen – guys don't do that. Yeah. You don't it's, warm up. She's like, kind of got an unorthodox warm-up style in general, and what I really think what really took me aback is she seemed icy cool in her veins throughout that program, and then the emotion that she let out after. I mean, the, the moment really meant a lot to her, and it's hard to sort of – break the exterior of a 13 year old but you could see tonight that this meant a lot for her she comes out she delivers she is in second place after the short program which is awesome well done to Alyssa Lou. what about for Mariah Bell tonight a lot of expectations coming into this lady short program let's go ahead and check out the former medalist here at U.S. Nationals here she was Mariah and that triple triple just caught her a little bit but otherwise this is a great short program from her I really appreciate the motion that she put into this program and started off strong but you know she does have a little bit of issue with that triple triple um, and this wasn't her day today but she's in a good place to come back for the long program yeah there's that little bit of a I think it was called under rotated on the second part of that triple triple and just you could tell it threw her off a little bit because Mike she's been pushing herself to be perfect in this program this season just hasn't quite been there yeah and I, and I think it, how disappointing can that be? I mean, that's not really that bad. I know she's disappointed, but you're in the top three after the short program, and you're only three, well, three yeah, points out three of points. second, six mm. points but out of, of the champion. you don't want to be that person who is known to get under-rotated jumps. That becomes a label, and it's Sounds really like hard you to... may know this from experience. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> I completely agree with you. I, I think you're right, because then you have to get out of that stigmatism by doing overly rotated triple yes. jumps in order to just get credit where other people might. And I completely agree with you. 
with this triple lutz, triple toe, I saw that like the triple lutz landing, you notice she was a little bit forward, more like grabbed on the front of her mm. skate. And then that made her really try and over muscle that second triple jump. Whereas be, maybe because she knows like, gosh, I have to get these jumps around because I know I get called on them. So it's a little bit tighter on those landings. If she can just relax, let her shoulders down and breathe and let the jump happen as opposed to try and over muscle those jumps and then get under rotation calls. This is really technical, but I find that her pattern is a little bit tight for mm. my liking and it doesn't give any room for error. If she's not over her hip when she lands, she's she takes herself out of the game. It's You have to be really precise and there's no room for the, that adrenaline. Mariah, do you mean just on her lutz or in general on her jumps? Lutz toe especially. She okay. just cuts the pattern really short. It has to be... It has to be right on the dot when she lands it. And you saw that she had to adjust her hips a little bit, and that that was why I was under. And it's interesting, too, because she's got Rafael Aratunian working with her, and they're just past that two-year mark where he said, this is when I want you to start skating like we really think you can skate. And for her, I think she feels that this season, she's been more consistent this year. But you can see, and I think the disappointment, you guys, comes out in general because Raf is so focused on that technical piece, but she's within striking distance for the and, free skate. And I understand. I mean, her goal coming here was to be the national champion. So I understand being in third place is not exactly what she envisioned as perfect, but it's still doable. And yeah. she knows with people like Mariah Gone and Ashley that this is her opportunity to become national champion. And you could see when she finished, she just it was in her face that maybe she didn't she take that opportunity, you know, and I, and that's, more. yeah, that's frustrating. Yeah, certainly. Her, so sure. our first six spots, or excuse me, our first three spots separated by six points. You've got Brady Tonell in first, Alyssa Liu, and then Mariah Bell. What about fourth place? Amber Glenn, this was a career best score for her in the short program and, and really a moment for her. I talked to her after this skate, Mariah Nagasu, and she said she started working on this program in April and that it felt so good to deliver that program like this tonight. I've been waiting for a performance like this from Amber because she's so talented. She has always been one of those rising stars and just as she got to senior, she just kind of um, didn't make the jump that she needed and it looks like she's jumping off the cliff now right into senior and so I'm really happy for her and really glad to see that she's on the rise. We had a little bit of technical issue there with the video, but we promise you it was a really good skate from Amber <laughs> Glenn, and we hope you didn't miss it. And if you have the NBC Sports Gold figure skating pass, you can go back and watch it from tonight. But for her also, we saw last year with Brady Tunnell that you can have a breakthrough at any point in your career. And not that this is a, a Brady Tunnell level Skate America breakthrough, but perhaps this is something she can use, as Mariah saying, Brooke, as a springboard for bigger things. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, no matter what, whenever you feel like you finally have that skate you've been waiting for, it's just like this weight is lifted off your shoulders, and then you feel a little bit more freedom to train and to compete the way that you know you can, but now everyone else can see it, and that's that's really reassuring. Yeah, some cool moments tonight here at the U.S. Championships in Detroit. Let's go ahead and get a little bit geeky on you and break down some of the scores from tonight. Just looking at... You know, the technical versus components. So there's Brady Tunnell at the top of your leaderboard, 76-6, Mike. She wins on components, but you can see Alyssa Liu actually won technically overall. And then there's Mariah. You can see the components took a little bit of hit because of the technical piece of it was a little tight. There's Amber Glenn in fourth. But Brady Tunnell has worked so hard on that component piece. And maybe, Mariah, you want to take this. She, she really has improved that over the last year. I don't really know what else to say. You, you know, she skated out there yeah. like like she knew she could, and she's great at tur turning off social media, tuning out everybody, and getting her job done. And I wish I was better at it. Honestly, it's something to really admire because, you know, as defending champion, it's really easy to fall under the pressure, and today she proved that she's ready to continue to rise. Oh, I was yeah, I was talking about this while we were watching her. Um, after you win a national championship, all of a sudden everyone's in your ear. You have people coming from every direction saying, okay, if you did this, you could be the top in the world. If you did this, you'll be national champion yes, next year. And there's so many voices. And she just like listened but also tuned them out. She did everything everyone was a asking for, you know, better components, um, a, a different look, a new choreographer, and met the challenge. And mm. that's so rare to see. Most people kind of crumple under there or they'll lose what they're good at in the first place why they were national champion last year with her consistency and her technical mark and um she kept that and added and it's 
really impressive. Mike, she says that her free skate is stronger. She's going to try that. Is it a let's loop? She's going to yes. try the let's loop, which has given her trouble this season. What does she need to do in the free skate to be national champ? Well, she, she, <laughs> she's, she, I think her goal also has to be not just the national championships because once you've become national champion, yes, you want to repeat as national champion, but she wants to take the next level and be on the world podium as well. And with that, you have to do triple-triple combinations, and that's why she's upped her technical ability by doing the triple lutz, triple toe. Also, in practice, she's been doing triple lutz, triple loop, and triple lutz, triple toe in her program. And I think yeah. she has yeah. a so triple style combination. Uh, half of that? Yeah, yeah, I think she also has that. Euler? And yeah, yeah. yeah, a Euler. She's and, got them all. Yeah. <laughs> and so. if, she, if she put, that's what I'm talking about, about stepping it up technically. When you have other Russians that are doing quad lutzes and quad elements and these and these things, and you, in order to compete against them, a triple lutz, triple loop, and a triple lutz, triple toe, with a bonus on it. And that mature and component start... mark, too, exactly. which some of them are missing. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. And that, that's what she should be focusing at. Once you become the national champion, now I need to go to the next level and win a medal at the World Championships I just in the United like, States. I feel like she just is eliminating any weakness that you could find in her skating. And uh, it's really cool to see. Yeah, a lot of the comments coming in from you guys out there. Brittany saying that Brady was phenomenal. Uh, Linda adding that Brady attacked every element tonight. And also Alex saying that her te or her component marks, they've drastically improved. So a lot of you agreeing with our a panel of experts oh, that's here. Good. That's good. Thanks, guys. <laughs> for for uh, Mariah Bell, coming into that free skate, it's actually been her stronger program. I think a lot of people love both her programs this season, but she's been a little more consistent can she climb out of a three or six point hole and get to silver or gold? Absolutely. A three to six point, it's really easy to make up. And, you know, all she can do is focus on herself and what's within her control. And um, I really love what Shaylin's done for her. She is a phenomenal choreographer. She knows how to change, change people to be able to um, improve their skating. And so I'm confident that Mariah has the ability to step up to to what she needs to do. For Alyssa Liu, 13, <laughs> in second place, I, she's probably impressed right now trying to talk to the media, explain to them how she does that triple axel. How do you, at that age, how do you sort of block out everything like Brady's done and just be able to skate in the free skate? Because she'll, I'm imagining she'll feel it a little bit more tomorrow night. Yeah, I mean, not to sound cliche, but trust your training. I mean, I watched her in practice and she did a clean long. <laughs> With two yeah. triple axles hmm. and wasn't even out of breath. Two she triple did, axles. Yes, two. <laughs> she has two planned here. Yeah. And she'll likely do them. Yeah, and yes, and she did her first half of practice was all jumps and she did her run through clean and then the second half she just worked on edge quality, component, mm. musicality, and body movement. It was very interesting to watch. I think what will be interesting to see how it pans out is how a 13 year old deals with this i mean when i was 13 i was basically learning how to ride a bicycle not performing <laughs> for a national championship <laughs> in the ladies division and to see like now she's in a press conference where everybody's going to be asking her questions yeah. everybody's going to be talking to her and that's going to continue and it's only going to get more and more do you react to that positively and do you enjoy the spotlight and do you thrive in it or do you cringe back and go oh my gosh and you know that's what we're going to find out about a personality but it looks like here she's just ice in her veins when she performs. Yeah, and just how cool. I mean, so you were, your first Nationals, you were 14 in seniors? Uh, senior, yeah. Seniors, 14. Mm -hmm. To have a standing ovation for, I mean, tonight, that moment, yeah. do you feel like she soaked that in tonight? We saw her get emotional. Yeah, and that's how you know how much this competition means to the skaters. You yeah. know, we talk about it so casually, and we're like, oh, if they do this, they'll win. But it's so different when you're out there, and you're you, there's so much going on, and and I feel for those skaters because it's really exciting to watch them. And as a like athlete who um, isn't out there this year, I feel like I'm still out there. And I, I was saying after the Paris Shore program, I was exhausted because I felt like <laughs> I was out there doing their elements with them because we all want them to skate well. Did you feel like you were out there during the Lady Shore too? In my mind, I was like competing too. I was like, oh, I. Did you skate clean? In your yeah, how was it? How was your triple axel? You know, when I mentally project my program, I can do quads. So. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, me too. I can do quads as well. No problem. I never fall. I love that. So, you guys, we have Amber Glenn. She's just a point away from Mariah Bell. And then you've got Emma Ma, Megan Wessenberg, and Star Andrew, sort of all within striking distance. There are a couple names that I left out there. Does this top three change at all? after the free skate? 
I, I don't know, but I think of note is the way Hannah Harrell skated. I mean, she, for me, was a surprise of the evening, too, because we kind of knew how it, knew the other names, but she came in and was just awesome. Her triple-triple combination was huge. Solid. Arm variation, rip-ons on both of them. I mean, that was very, very impressive. So if she puts together a performance like that and some of the people ahead of her falter a little bit, I mean, she has 68 points. Amber Glenn has 69. I mean, so <laughs> she's right there. She could potentially mix things up, and not a lot of people are talking about her. But after she skated, I was very impressed with the yeah, way I she skated. Yeah, I think the competition's going to be for fourth, hmm. that fourth spot on the podium. Yeah, interesting. Cool. We had a great night of ladies' short program, right? Agreed. Yes. <laughs> Tomorrow, you guys, guess what? The rhythm dance will kick us off in the afternoon, and then the ladies will come back. So pairs have tomorrow night, and it's the ladies' free skate tomorrow evening. There we are. There's ice desks before the rhythm dance. We're going to have Emily Samuelson with us here. Join us after the rhythm dance, before the ladies' free skate. Mariah Nagasu is going to break out her crystal ball and tell you who's going to be the ladies' champion for 2019. For Mike, for Brooke, and for Mariah, for all of us here at Bridgestone Ice Desk. Guys, it's been a great first day. We're, we're wrapped on day one, but we've got more days to come here in Detroit. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for the comments. We'll get to more of them tomorrow and the next day and the next day. For now, good night. See you later.